Hello, my name is Natalie. I am an instructor at Nuffield Health and welcome to Nuffield Health 24-7. Today we are going to be doing a HIT class and that stands for High Intensity Interval Training. All you're going to need is some space, a mat if you'd like it and a bottle of water at hand. When you are ready, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start with our warm-up. The feet are wide, light on the toes and just shift that weight from right to left. That's it, nice and easy. Beautiful team. So soften into the knees. And let's lift up that chest, set a great upper body position so we can work out really strong. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna take the feet wide and we're gonna shuffle and tap down. So keep the feet wide, stay light on your toes as you shuffle. And as you sit down and back, you're gonna drive those knees out and reach with one arm. That's it, let's get those legs nice and warm. Looking good, guys. Keep it up. All right, let's move on. We're going into a lunge. So we're gonna take a big step back. A reverse lunge with a nice overhead arm. So taking long strides and aiming to bend that back knee a lot. If you feel warm enough, feel free to drop the knee and kiss the ground. And let's aim on pushing those hips forward so we can stretch out through those hip flexors as well. Good stuff. All right, give me one more. And let's bring the lunge forward. So we're gonna lunge forward and rotate. So still aiming for 90 degrees in those knees on that lunge and keeping that chest elevated as you turn the upper part of your body. That's it, squeeze that butt, keep that stability in the lower half. We get a little bit more freedom for that spine to rotate. Great. All right, we're gonna move on to a half burpee. So we're gonna start with the feet wide. We're gonna take it down into a squat, jump back to plank, squat, and then stand up. No need to jump just yet. <laughs> Good stuff. If you need to at any point today in any type of burpee, you may walk it through, walk those feet back, but use that squat to get down there and to get back up. All right, let's do a few more guys. Wherever you want to take this, walk in, jumping back. And then we're going to rev up this move. A little bit more. How about 15 seconds of a little bit more speed and perhaps a jump at the top. Time to start elevating that heart rate high. Let's get the energy, eh? Let's bring it today. Beautiful, you got three, two, one. All right, listen, hop. One foot. And just lightly bounce off the ground with the ball of that foot. Not bad, eh? Change over. Just starting to feel that heart rate pump. The heat's up already. That's exactly where we want to be. Good stuff. Hey, let's use this one foot drive into a high knee run. Pick up those knees, use the arms. Good, come on, drive this. Can you start to speed this one up for 15 seconds? Hard you work now, the easier the other stuff's gonna feel. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah. Hey, you got four, three, two, and one. All right, warm up is done, good job. We're actually gonna work into our first major part of the workout, where we're gonna be working into a giant set. Two minutes. Every move we do today, which there'll be four, 30 seconds each. So let's get ready to work hard on this one. I'm gonna demonstrate the first move. Check this out. We're gonna start with a squat, a jump forward and shuffle back. So you're gonna land on one foot at the front and make sure that you bend your knees, keep it nice and safe. Second move, we're gonna hit a pogo twist. So three little pogos, one twist to the side. 
good. Staying light on the toes. Third move is going to be on the floor, hands wide. One push up and one knee drive. Option, toes can go to those knees. And then the fourth move finally will be our lunge and jump across. Our capital H on the ground. So I will give you plenty of options. Let's get this one started. First move starts in three, two, and one. Let's go. Broad jump, one legged land. Shuffle back. So we've got 30 seconds in this one, guys. Use that spot to leap and bend the knees and land soft on that one legged land. Your option anytime is to bend the knees, land into a full squat, and then just shuffle back. No need to do the one leg. All right, second move. Let's go for pogo in three, two, and one. Let's go. So if you're not doing with anything with impact today, by all means, feel free to do one squat and just turn another squat towards the front corner of your room. Always keeping the knees out on this, lifting up that chest. Fabulous, you've got 10 more seconds. All right, we're gonna move into the floor work. So if you've got your mat, go grab it quickly. We're going into push-ups. So take your hands wide, let's hit it. One knee drive. Race through the core. If you wanna hit the knees, you can hit those knees. Wonderful team. I'm sure they're looking great. Good, catch that breath. We're about to come on up for those lunges. Get ready. In three, two, one, let's go. So on your lunge, I wanna see this, 90 degrees in both knees. Drive that down and think about pushing that front knee out and lifting up your chest. Good, 10 more seconds. Love it. Here we go in three, two, one. Rest up, relax, breathe. Shake it out. Take a moment. We've got 30 seconds to recover. Nice bit of time. How are we feeling? <laughs> First big push today, eh? All right, let's get this pie started. You got 10 seconds and then it's go time. Are you ready? Let's hit that jump forward. Start with the feet wide in four, three, two, and one. One leg if you can. Now, if you've got the room, feel free to go for distance. Just make sure you're still getting a great landing and you're sticking it into the floor strong. Nice job, 15 seconds left, guys. Ooh. Good stuff. Here we go, five seconds left. Get ready to hit that pogo. Here we go, let's jump it. One, two, three, twist it out. Good. So make sure you're twisting from the waist down. Everything turns together, the hips, the knees, the toes. 10 more seconds only. Woo. It's really good, this one. Here we go, we're in three, two, we're hitting the floor. Let's hit the push-ups. Let's go. So I know you're starting to nail this one down. Let's have a little bit of tempo. How about three counts to lower? One count to drive that knee in nice and quick. Good. Slowly bringing it down. Power up and drive through the heel of the hands. We've got five seconds left. We pop up to lunge. In three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, let's keep driving it. We've got a rest coming up after this one. We may as well go. So here's a tip with the lunge. Drive into that front heel, land heel to toe. It's gonna to start activating your glute, giving you a hell of a lot of power. Good, five seconds. In four, three, two, and one. 
Woo. Check it out, breathe. Keep moving. You're gonna get drink of water, go get it. Nice work. Woo. That's it, shake it off. Do what you need to do. Incredible. Hey, listen, 10 seconds. We go one more time. Let's hit that. Ready? Feet wide. Let's hit that superset. Four moves in three, two, and go. Ball jump, one leg. How far can you take it? If you haven't got the distance, see if you can land a little bit deeper in that one leg. So drive the hips back, keep that chest up, press into the foot. You've got it. You've got 10 more seconds. Come on, you can handle that. You've got five, four, three, two. Let's hit the pogos. Triple. Turn it. Hey, those pogos, lift up your knees up in front. I want to see the knees pop up. Good stuff. 15 seconds left. Nice. Come on, keep moving. Five seconds remaining. Here we go, push-ups in three, two, one. Let's get down. Come on, I know you want to do it. <laughs> Slowly lower, fast drive to the top. Think about really corkscrewing the hands out, engaging the shoulders, engaging the back so you can push up even stronger than you're already at. You've got 10 seconds left. Woo, training up into that chest. Working those abs with that knee drive. An amazing workout. Hey, three, two, get on up, lunge it. Remember, draw that capital H on the floor. Bend that back knee down as low as you can do today. Remember to land on that front heel. That's it. Come on, grind it out. You've got 10 seconds. Woo. Yes, we can. In four, three, two, one. <laughs> Good job. Well done. Listen, breathe. Take a moment for yourself. Grab that water. Enjoy it. You're going to need this break. Sucking all the oxygen. Deep breath in and out. And let me explain the next bit. So part two of the workout. Listen, we're going to work a Tabata. So if you don't know what Tabata is, it's going to be 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds recovery. So 20, 10, 20, 10, and so forth. So we're going to do this a few times. <laughs> so get ready for this. Three rounds of work. First round is going to start with a three-step run. And that's going to start in eight seconds. So get ready to join me in three, two, one. Let's run the rhythm first. Stay light on the toes. One, two, three, one, two, three. If you've got that, you may speed that one up. Give me a little bit more push from side to side. Excellent. Come on, we've got three, two, one. Recover, you've got 10 seconds left to recover. Come on down though. Hands are gonna start under the shoulders, a wide climber. Bringing that foot close to the outside of your hand in three, two, one. 20 seconds. Brace your abs so you can launch that foot forward and bring that foot as close forward to your hand as you can. If that's a no-go today, toe tap, but on the wide. Good, keep coming, keep pushing in three, two, all right, relax. Okay, listen, 10 seconds to recover. Then we're gonna hit high knee run from side to side. In three, two, one, come join me. Get those knees up. It's only 20 seconds. That's it, give me enough knees going from one side to the other so you can feel that push from the outside of your foot. Amazing, we've got five seconds left. Ready to rest? Three, two, four, one. All right, let go. Relax, check this one out. It's not gonna be a pretty one. Chest down to the floor, jump up, and 180 turn. Let's go. We're on, we're on. Beautiful. 
If that's not you today, guys, slow it down, squat, walk back, come on up, and feel free to turn or just keep it straight and don't do the 180 turn. In three, two, rest. 10 seconds to recover. Guys, we're gonna hit this hard two more times. Are you ready, folks? Woo, three, two, three-step run. So agility, we're getting athletic today. Helping you be able to change directions really quickly. So if you play sports, this is perfect for you. And time, relax. Second move, wide climber, we're hitting the floor. Five, four, three, two, let's go. You jump it or you toe tap that. Aim to push those hands down really strong. Set the upper body strong and steady and stable. So you can feel that movement through the legs a little bit easier. You've got five seconds left. Beautiful, time out. Woo, recover. Good, breathe. In the next five seconds, we're hitting those runs. Let's go. All the way across from side to side. Woo. If you want to get more height at those knees, drive those arms and pull the elbows back more and lift that chest so you can lean back a little. Come on, five seconds left. In three, two, one. Get ready because you've got burpees. Burpee, let's go. Chest down to the ground all the way. Amazing. I know you are killing it. Core tight as you swivel or jump to the other side. Whole body got to turn as one. Come on, it's 20 seconds. You've got five seconds left. Three, two, one. Stop. Recover. 10 seconds remaining. And we hit this again. <laughs> I know, I know. Three, two, one. Three step. Yes, you can. Push off the outside part of your foot. Pop that knee up at the end. Come on, can you go a little bit faster? You've got five seconds. Go, beat me. Stop. Woo, let's hit the ground. Come on, five seconds. Wide climber. Yes, you can do it. Three, two, let's go. Push those hands down harder. Pull those shoulders back. I'm with you on this. Come on, all the way. We do it together. Push that back leg straight behind you. Come on, five seconds. Ooh. And stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyone dying or is that just me? Breathe, breathe, breathe. In three, two, let's get those high knees. What move is your favorite? This is so my one. Come on, go further across to the side of your room. Use the space if you can and get that height. Get those knees up. Stop. Whew. Recover. Catch your breath, you've got one more job to do. You know what it is. Chest to floor burpees in three, two, let's go. How quick can you get down? And up off the ground with control. Drive those hands down harder. Starting to work the back of the arms as well, right? Five seconds left. Jump, jump. Three, two, and time. Woo! Breathe. Get yourself a drink of water. Keep moving, maybe just shake out the legs. We can steadily get that heart rate to come down and we're gonna work into a cool down, which we really need, right? So, if you've got something to hold on to, do it. We're grabbing a foot. Let's get our heel out to our bum. Stretch out those quads. Really good. Excellent, change over, let's get the other side. Catch it. Knees together, isolate the quad. How's that for a bit of a sweat sesh? Good stuff. 
hamstrings. You want to take one foot in front, lift up the toe if you like, and just sit both your hips back equally and square. All right, change. There we go. <laughs> Made it. Good stuff. Listen, glute stretch, if you can hold on as well, feel free to hold on to something, even with two hands. Cross your foot over that knee, flex that foot, and just sit your bum back. This is a good one for the bum. Great for the hips as well. All right, changing over, let's hit the other side. Grab hold of something if you need it. Sit further back if you can. You can always take your arms out if you need to, <laughs> if you're balancing. Good. All right, just stretching out through the upper back. Just cross those arms in front of you. Interlace the hands if you need. Just pull those shoulder blades apart from one another. Tuck that chin in. Good. Go the opposite way. You're going to pull both your arms out wide. Stretch out through your chest. Eyes up. Is that breath starting to come down? I hope so. All right, a little bit of an IT band. Just take one foot behind the other. Lift up one arm, you're gonna stick that hip out to the side. Keep those hips square towards me though. You can put your other hand onto your hip. Just give you more support so you can go a bit further. Hey, let's try the other side. Should be feeling this right down the side of that hip, down the side of the leg, and probably as well, right across the side of that torso. Hey, I've got one more thing to do. Have a little twist, a rotation. Lifting up your back heel so you can turn those hips through as well. And well done, everybody. You did it, you got to the end. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you next time.